Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain something just uh, very quickly. Um, the one thing I wanna say was, was um, Earth is actually a simulation and is something that doesn't exist. Um, this is what I'm finding out now is that the planet Earth never existed. It was actually a simulated um, program created to give you an illusion of something that never existed. So um the the actual planet earth doesn't exist okay the only planets that do exist that i am aware of are mars and saturn those are the two planets that exist and uh, earth is a as a concept as a as an idea is an actual program which was created in a, as, a, as an artificial intelligence to give you a false sense of reality which never existed so one thing you must put in your head and one thing you must understand or grasp is that the planet earth never existed and i'm probably the first person to ever say this but that's just that's just how we you know uh, I, I, I I wouldn't encourage people to <laughs> to to kind of like get what I mean by this, but it's it's just that uh, this is the information that's coming out, and this is the information that has been sort of like hidden. That you know, we 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 have this idea that the life we're living is actually real, but in reality everything is like a program which is created in the simulation to give you an a sense of reality which never existed so the planet earth never existed okay just just keep that in your mind for now and then we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna expound on it we're gonna, oh. we're, gonna, we're gonna show you what we mean when we say that okay so basically Basically, what happened was, okay, there is a couple of beings that were living on Mars. I know this sounds crazy, but there was a couple of beings that were living on Mars, and um, a species of beings called um, the Draco reptilians actually invaded okay and when you see things like this you see the reptilian draconian invasion agenda it's not talking about reptilians invading earth because earth never actually existed so what happened was we have these reptilian looking beings and these anunnaki beings actually invading places like Mars and Saturn okay what happened when they did that uh, basically they they took over the, the planet Mars okay let's give you a little visuals so you can kind of get this we get what's happening here uh, okay 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 so they took over this planet Mars okay Mars is this red looking planet People are gonna tell you, ah, oh, the Mars, Mars doesn't exist, or oh, there is no such thing as other planets. But that's the, that's the like, that's like the conundrum we we dealing with. That's that's the exact uh, concept that these beings would want you to think. Now, nah, Mars never existed, you know, Saturn doesn't exist, all these other planets don't exist, but Earth exists. But in reality, when you really think about it, um everything you've ever been told is not actually real it's not actually true it's not actually based on anything that is scientifically factual but if we if we're talking about the quantum physics um side of things you would know that this is a simulation everybody will tell you this is a simulation and what is a simulation is this as something that is similar to the vr the vr experience something that that is holographic okay photographic moving images videos holograms all those kind of things 
which tells you that all this stuff is really in your head. That's what it's saying. But if we think about if Earth doesn't exist, if you don't exist, where where are you really? Like where 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 is the the, the true you? Because think about it. You have a name. You live you live on an address. An address has got numbers, names, postcodes, and they got all of these zip codes. Everything has numbers, codes. It's coded. It's telling you that the world is coded in numbers, telling you it doesn't exist. It's all a program. You see? That's what it's telling you. It's telling you, it's telling you this. If you want to go to, if you come out your house and you say to yourself, I want to go to this building, I want to go to this place, that place is going to have a zip code, that place is going to have a, a number, and you're going to either get on a bus and that bus is going to have a number. Or you're going to get on a taxi or you're going to get in a car and that car has a number plate. Why? Because everything is coded in numbers. And if you understand coding in computer science, it's all to do with ones and zeros. Meaning it's a computer simulated program. It's just in front of you. You see? This means Earth does not exist. It means it's a program simulated artificial intelligence telling you a planet exists. You get on a plane and you think you're going to Africa where Africa doesn't exist. In your head it does. Okay? In the simulation it does. In the program that you've accepted it does. You see? We actually think the planet exists. It's just ridiculous. But if, 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 you, if you look, what are the things that people would look at and, and, and think, oh, that doesn't exist. If you say Mars, people tell you it doesn't exist. If you say dragons, people say dragons don't exist. Why? Because those are the things that truly exist. And the things that don't exist are the things that are promoted on the planet to keep you in the dream so what would you get you get artists singers celebrities actors all of these people getting up and telling you oh you should believe in your dreams you should follow your dreams why to keep you in assimilation to keep you in the idea and the concept that life exists is it? But does life really exist though? That's a question you gotta ask yourself. But let's, let's let's explore it. Let's explore it. Let's let's see if you know what we're saying is crazy or if it's you know. So from what I've been gathering, I've been getting this this uh, vision of there is a factory, okay, a place like this in either Mars or Saturn yeah there is a factory like a like a like a you see, you see these underground sort of factory looking things okay there is a factory on Mars yeah or Saturn but I'm my, my guess at the moment is Mars okay because of what I've seen and you know what I've calculated and the methodology that I'm following is leading me to these kind of things. Okay, so in these factories, what they have, they have these these metal beds. Okay, okay, and um, on these metal beds, they have these beings that look like um, that look like let's see if we can find this, that look like these people. Okay. See these people? You see these people? You see these people? Okay. So on these fat on these beds, these metal beds in these factories, they have these people that are plugged in to a simulation, okay, which is telling them that they're actually on earth existing as human beings today. 
ah, is it, ah, kid you know, this stuff sounds crazy. It sounds insane, but you've never heard it before. Okay, so, but we've, we've, we've had a glimpse of that in, in this film called They Live. They showed you an underground factory, okay, where beings were able to jump into space. Okay, so these, this is the underground factory. You see, you see, this is the underground factory, and the beings were able to jump into space and go to different planets. I'm just telling you, this stuff sounds crazy. It sounds nuts. But this is this is what I'm telling you. This is where this stuff is going. Okay. Oh, if G won't tell you this, he will tell you eat vegetables, guys. Okay. But um, so what I'm saying is, this is what I'm saying. You, your being, if you're a soul being, basically you're you're on this metal bed, right? On this metal bed. In um underground factory, yeah, like this, on Mars, okay, on a planet like this, okay, this is where you are. You're actually on Mars, on underground factory, on a metal bed, dreaming that you are. <laughs> this stuff is crazy, guys. You're on Earth, but you're dreaming that you're on this. This planet, which actually doesn't exist, but it's an actually simulated program, artificial intelligence goggles, giving you the 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 perception of a reality which doesn't exist. Okay, but really and truly, okay, these beings, these are uh, these are uh, these these reptilians okay not just the reptilians so you get the reptilians you get the anunnakis and you get the uh the, the insectoids uh you get all of these beings that call themselves jesus's yahweh's yahweh yahweh Shua, all of these beings whatever they call themselves gods and whatever not what they did is they took their dna okay and created this simulation which enslaves, okay, enslaves, okay, I'm sure you, I'm sure you guys, it enslaves these beings, okay, this is a drawing that I did when I was a kid, I did not draw this from anything, I just drew this out of like, like vision, okay, this is what I drew, it's basically this, this this woman, okay, on Mars, crying tears of blood, okay, meaning these are a people that actually live on Mars, okay. You see, and they got dreadlocks. As you can see, they got dreadlocks. And you see them, and you see she's crying tears of blood, okay. But the thing is, yeah, I gotta explain this so you can get it. So the beings they look like this, but they don't look human though. So, so what I'm saying is, yeah, the the soul beings, they have a human look to them, but they also have like a you, you see how this person looks almost like 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 a like a like a like a god almost look to their face. You, you see how these pe people they they got this like god god looking face. To them you see this person they don't even look they don't even look human they look like they're human but they're half like i don't know what i don't know how to explain it it's like it's, it's like a it's like a like an alien looking face that's how these people looked so they basically look like this yeah but okay how do i explain it man okay this is a drawing that i did you see you see, this person looks human, but at the same time, they almost look like a, like an alien-looking person. Almost like they come from a different planet. And you see how they got all these lights and colors inside of them. Okay? I, I drew this when I was a kid. 
I don't think you guys understand. I, I, I probably was like 15 when I drew this. Okay. So, basically, that being is sleeping on this metal bed. Okay. On the planet Mars. Okay. Dreaming that they're on this planet Earth. But really, planet Earth doesn't actually exist. And uh, on Mars, they've got things like these floating rocks. Okay. When I saw Mars, what I saw was these, these float. You see these rocks that are floating? You see these rocks floating? And it looked like Arizona. So basically, it looked like Arizona like this. It was all red like this. Okay. It was all red like this. I'm just trying to explain it to you. But it, it, the thing is, yeah, he had floating rocks. Okay. You see, you see these rocks? You see these rocks are floating? And that's exactly what you see in the avatar. Okay. Which, which really they're showing you what's going on. But you don't understand it. Okay. But it looked like this. It was all red like this. But really and truly, on, on Mars, there is, there is a factory of beings on these beds, okay, dreaming that they are on Earth. You see this? This don't exist. All of this doesn't exist. It's, it's, this is all nonsense. It's just like a program that, that they put in your head to, to make you think it's real. It's not real. This is not real, okay? I don't know how to explain it, but this was going on. So, on on Mars, is this all I can give you guys? You, you you can go with whatever you want to believe. That's up to you. But what I'm telling you is, on Mars, there is beings that look like this. Okay, they're on metal beds. Okay. And in the in the film they live, they showed you this, which is like an underground factory which goes into space. And when you look at the underground factory, what did you look like? It looked like this. Okay. And if you, if you ever experience time travel, what happens is your your body will open up and you will go into this factory and you will see like a like a spaceship, and it will be in a in a factory that looks just like this. And what happens is when you time travel, you will see this and you will jump into whatever galaxies you choose from here. Um, that's what's on our on, on the other side. That's all. That, that's all. That's all. That's on the other side. That's, this is this is all that, that that is to it. It's not as intricate as you guys think it is, but really and truly, this is you, this is the whole thing. You don't exist. This planet never existed. You are dreaming this life. You think it's actually real, but really and truly, it's not real. It's a simulation. It's a program that somebody created to give you a sense of reality, which never existed. I'm just telling you. Try it. If you don't believe me, you 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 deprogram your mind and tell yourself this will never exist, and you see what happens. Bear grease, guys. Bear grease. Okay. Bear grease.